I chose uterine fibroid embolization because I was definitely looking for a minimally invasive procedure. And with UFE, there's not a large scar. My scar is actually the size of the nail on my pinky finger. And the downtime is short. There's no mandatory hospital stay, which is good because you can recover at home. And the best thing is you get to keep your uterus. And also the fibroids that are treated with UFE do not grow back. So all of those were determining factors for me. The one that sounded um, more attractive to me was the UFE because it was minimally invasive because I didn't want the trauma going through a major surgery if, again, if I didn't have any symptoms. And so um, I just felt that that was the best option for me. The, the reason that I agreed to do it because I, um, after talking to some friends and listening to the, the side effects uh, of after having a hysterectomy, two of them told me they basically regret it. They basically wish that they hadn't done it or that they had been offered other choices because it, and, you know maybe they would have ended up having a hysterectomy no matter what, but if they had known that they had other choices, perhaps their, their decision would have been different. And this is why I'm doing it basically to, you know, if I can help somebody out, um, even though it's very personal and you talk about, you know, your bladder and things like that, um, I felt that I owed it to, you know, the rest uh, of the people who are doing research that, you know, that they're aware that there's other options. And I also think that this is a good uh, wake up call for me to uh, never just take the opinion of one doctor um, in this day and age where there's so much information and um, I think that we have to use that to our advantage and, and find doctors that are uh, you know keeping up to date with alternative um, for treatment that is not just the you know what has been done 20 years ago uh, their testimonial actually my, a, a very close relative of mine had it had a hysterectomy 30 years ago when there were no other options and she's the one who said I wish that, that I had had more options back then and, and perhaps 30 years ago I think it was about 30 years ago um, perhaps at that time there were no other options and so um, she's a nurse and so she said there's definitely other options um, and so you, you need to, to to go down that route and if you have to get a second opinion get a second opinion if you have to get a fourth a third and a fourth then get as many opinions as you can because it, it affected her marriage um, in a big way and again this happened 30 years ago and she had no choices and I feel like I do now so why not try it even if it buys me time